Apps. Please put your hands together for one and only Sachin Gaire, Principal Architect with Tara. Good afternoon, all of us. Yeah. So I am here by the coincidence. I am representing Ravi, uh, who is my CIO of uh, Tata Singapore Airlines. Uh, and the introduction is definitely of mine, but I am here just by the coincidence. Yeah. So I'm lucky by that way. So my boss is traveling. Uh, so about him, he is an award-winning uh, Harvard alumni and uh, award-winning speaker. We have received multiple awards in the area of robotics, AI as well as we are working uh, on blockchains, we are working on uh, new technology stacks based on voice, and we are a core beneficiary because we are on the customer side, so we are actually able to understand the benefits of every technology directly, how it's impacting on our revenue chain and cost savings. So let's move on. Uh, for us, for us, technology is like a puzzle. When we look at technology from the point of view of uh, consumer, uh, we get benefit directly which we can transfer into, our, uh, into the cost or monetary cycle. For example, how we can use the voice bots uh, which can help us to improve the customer experience, uh, how we can use voice bots which, we, which can help us to improve the, uh, our employee experience. We can have a lot of data sets uh, which employees can get access just by the voice queries. So we, we, look at, we, look at, we, look at, we look at technology in a way that uh, how they can merge with each other. This is all about how we can, how we can have robotics, big data, IoT, uh, AR and VR coming together. Uh, so talking about robotics, uh, so we are the first company uh, in India to launch the first aviation robot uh, which is there into the Delhi Vistara lounge at T3. Uh, this is the, we, ca we, we, are, we are quite proud to say that we have built, made the first aviation announcement with robots uh, through that robot. Uh, the robot, what we built, is the name is Rada uh, and this is again coming with improvements to come up as an entertainment zone, robotic entertainment zone. It will also going to serve food going in future. So a lot of things are happening in that area. Uh, we, we also started work on a biometric because if you guys know now uh, Bangalore Bombay flight, uh, a, a UK 864, uh, which is uh, biometrically enabled. So now if you traveling from Bombay at 11.45, by Vistara to the, uh, from, the, from Bangalore to uh, Bombay, there you can actually go with a facial, facial boarding passes. So you can, uh, you, you may at the gate number one, you can just go out, you can register yourself and you can just walk in from boarding gate, we can walk in for security counter and your check-in counter just by the face. So no need of boarding passes going forward. Uh, fortunately for this innovation, uh, uh, we have awarded into the US for, with Delta. Uh, talking about this, maybe within a span of next six months to one year, we, we may have all our flights where everything will be biometrically enabled. So we are leading a lot of innovation activities uh, in area of aviation, even if you are just, we can call, we are just startup in the aviation sector, in the airline sector in India, but we are leading mostly all the segments of a technology uh, for a benefit uh, in different areas of our, uh, our activities. So talking about any aviation, I'm going to play some video by Ravi uh, after this. Talking about aviation uh, in, and innovation, uh, I, have, I have how we look at mobility as a part. So when I look at mobility, uh, I do, for, do come up with the different problems with uh, airlines. So we are using mobility for uh, security of people. We are using mobility for e-learning, talent development. We are using mobile, we are using different mobile apps uh, for EFB, which is called ele electronic flight books. So 
we nobody need to no uh, no captains or flight officer need to carry huge manuals which is certified by dgca we are using a lot of mobile solutions for improving our direct channel of uh, payments so people do not need to go to aggregators like us the sites where we try to compare the uh, flight booking uh, the tickets we can directly book on Vistara channel of mobile apps. We also having innovative solutions for loyalty members. So Club Vistara is one of the uh, probably now largest loyalty program in India for airlines. So we are having different innovative solutions for that. So all the way we, in every area, in every area of uh, airline operations, uh, uh, we are using mobile devices. A uh, lot many times what happens once we travel, uh, we travel, we do some air, tra air travel, we are not aware about how many things are happening behind the scene. Every flight uh, for airline, every flight is like a mission. So once, once, once we declare a flight to be departed from X destination to Y destination, we actually in, in insert the inventory to our GDS systems. From that day till the departure and arrival, we every day there is something is happening behind the scene. Uh, how, how and when flights get departed exactly on a time, we can say the mission is accomplished. If something goes wrong, there is a heavy impact on operational side and the revenue side that we have to incur. So nowadays we are also using a lot of mobile applications, how we can improve operational excellence for our flights. Mm -hmm. Just Innovation um, program of Vistara um, is actually a value system. Innovation is one of the core values of Vistara. We try to do both kind of in innovation, process innovation as well as product innovation. Our idea is, is, is multifold. One is to participate in the whole ecosystem of aviation and do our little bit in terms of improving it. Uh, our second goal is to help Vistara to get a, give a better customer experience, uh, improve that experience continuously using technology or using process innovation. And um, our third and fourth fold ideas is to uh, create some sort of a disruption if possible, uh, uh, bring new ideas which will uh, take this particular industry a notch uh, forward. And there are multiple examples of that. We work with multiple technologies, um, ranging from blockchain, robotics, AI, uh, biometrics, uh, and so on and so forth. Our process innovation, we look at our, uh, we look at our processes um, minutely and we try to find out uh, how we can improve it, uh, both from a perspective of productivity, uh, revenue generation, improvement of quality of uh, life of our employees, and, and many other uh, motivations. Vistara has already, you know, Vistara's inception has been uh, quite new. It's, it's, a, it's a fresh, uh, new um, uh, organization. Um, uh, certain examples of innovation which are already in public view. Uh, one is um, uh, our experimentation with robotics. Uh, we have arguably created first uh, robot for, for an airline. Um, which is a combination of robotics and machine learning as well as deep learning. Uh, it is currently being trained uh, to interact with customers, to answer their queries, to help them to find out new dates, to answer uh, any disruption which, which happens while they are at airport, and so on and so forth. On the other hand, we have written an algorithm which is in the deep learning zone, which, is, which goes beyond the instructional set of any airline which is a self-learning mode in which uh, robot is uh, tuned or trained uh, to interact with humans. So that's, that is one example. Our sec second example which is again in a public eye where we are actually, uh, we, have, we are working with airports, one which we have already launched uh, in collaboration with uh, Bangalore International Airport is how to help passengers using biometrics for seamless uh, entry into an airport. So that's an example of how we want to collaborate within the ecosystem of aviation and take it much forward. That's a biometrics example. A third example, we are, work, uh, uh, we are working on a blockchain platform uh, so that um, cycle time and cost of training uh, and the integrity of training of our engineering improves 
this we are doing with the regulatory agencies. And hopefully this will become another standard uh, using technology uh, for process improvement. Very soon uh, we will see how those experimentations are moving forward. So we use voice analytics, we are using voice to speech uh, conversion and the intelligence limit to do that uh, from a data lake perspective. So that is other uh, take. We are also passionate about our colleagues and how we can improve lives of our colleagues, how, can they, how we can make it much more safer. So we have um, another use case which is uh, in, the, in, the, in the final stages of maturity in an IoT zone. We are ensuring that um, a young uh, crew who work with us are the safe when they get out of their house and till the time they reach airport and vice versa. So there are multiple use cases and you know, it's not only you know, business case oriented, it is, it is orientation is towards productivity, orientation is towards compassion, orientation is towards empathy, orientation is towards, uh, it's towards the freedom of ideation which we give uh, to encourage this particular value and so that everyone embraces innovation as a whole value of this world. young innovators when we start. It's, it's a very, very young organization to be innovation. Our DNA is a garage-style DNA. People come over here, uh, they use our tools, we provide them with them, sometimes we provide them budgets also. They are free for ideation, they experiment. The idea is to fail early. When you fail early, you don't waste too much of time and too much of time. And you learn very quickly and you build something out of that particular level. That's one side of the startup. We also encourage uh, startups in our ecosystem. We did hackathon you know, a few years back, and that one hackathon itself produced so much of startups uh, uh, for us. And some of those startups are, are profitable uh, you know, companies today, and mature startups today. And we take a little bit credit uh, for that because we encouraged it. So our ecosystem is both inward and outward looking. The success of of the culture of innovation in this startup, which I feel is far more important. Culture of innovation in this startup is way more important than the actual results of experimentation. So now specifically coming to experimentation, because that's one of the core you know, questions which you guys have asked. Um, uh, uh, these are initial stages. Okay. Robotics, um, it's time will tell, but initial uh, results have been good. It was never done before. Today, uh, people uh, of almost uh, every age group, they are feeling, they are, they are using, they are giving critical feedback about our first robot, our second, and third, and fourth robot. They have far more wider use cases, they will be far more complex, they will be far more accurate. Uh, uh, biometrics, uh, again, it is in experimentation stage. Initial results have been pretty cool. Uh, let's see where it takes uh, both airports and airlines combined together. Uh, hopefully it may become a standard. Uh, blockchain, again, it's in the rolling stage. Uh, uh, you know, initial results have been very, very good. Uh, operating cost savings have been indicated me uh, in which we are looking at. They are in a production stage, they are in a public view, uh, they are backed by strong tech. They are not uh, what I call as corporate pilots, where insiders use it and then if it doesn't work. They are in the public eye, they are, uh, they are cool tech, they are cutting tech, uh, and their use cases are both internal and external. Okay. Now, some of the other things which are in the initial stages, for example, you know, um, how do we reduce the carbon footprint by using materials, uh, 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 you know, in flight, outside the flight, and all that stuff. Uh, how do we use robotics uh, for uh, for for diagnostics of injury? Uh, can we use them? Uh, how do we use uh, you know, uh, voice? 
quality of, uh, of, of voice conversation to indicate an uh, AI-based sentiment analysis. That is also an experimentation stage. Um, how do we uh, uh, extend uh, blockchain platform towards area ranging from loyalty uh, to MRO? Uh, that is also an experimentation stage. So, 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 so there's a lot of things which are happening. Uh, initial bets, what we have made, all those initial bets have been good till now. Okay, uh, but they are experimentations. They are bets. Uh, they have, uh, they are organically done. Uh, when I say organically done, the ideation has happened within this time. Uh, and, and there is a serious, serious. It's quite long, yeah. It's quite long. Okay. So what what we have started the journey of uh, innovative activities under his leadership four years back, and now we probably leading most of the right innovations in airlines in the areas which uh, which we think we are quite proud of. Any questions specific to tech? Airlines, because we're also trying to create a large startup value system, which can work for not even Vistara, but our parent companies like Singapore Airlines and other companies. Nothing? Okay, thanks a lot. See you.